Fox Sports app. All right, back to the NBA and the drama in Brooklyn. Kevin Durant says he is shocked by Steve Nash's departure from the Nets. Those comments coming in a post-game press conference after the Nets lost to the Bulls. He said he liked working with Nash. Durant also responded to several tweets last night, deflecting blame for the situation, saying, nope, his focus is simply on playing ball. So, Shannon, let's put it to you. How much blame does KD deserve for Nash getting fired? 51%, because KD is, is responsible. He's their best player. He's refused time and time again to be the leader. He's uh, refused as the leader of a team to hold other men accountable for their actions and their behavior. Uh, Sean Marks and Joe Sy deserve some blame because they gave the keys to the kingdom to Kevin Durant and, and, and Kyrie Irvin. And Joe Sy even tweeted earlier this year, no longer. No longer is that going to be the case. And so it's too late now. It's too late. But you know what I've, I'm starting to notice? Every time I, I notice a little something, and maybe I'm the only one, Kevin Durant seems real comfortable now that he got these, uh, uh, he got those titles. He got, he's got real comfortable. Man, I just play basketball. It's changed my perspective. He didn't have this perspective before he got those titles. That man was hungry. Kevin Durant's become complacent. I don't care nothing about doing all that. I'm working on my craft and I'm doing all that. Kevin Durant has got real complacent, Skip Bayless. He got those titles on his belt now. He doesn't have that same desire. He doesn't want to lead because he doesn't want the responsibility that comes along with being a leader. There are certain responsibilities that come along with a leader in anything, whether you're running a business, whether you're the leader of a, a sports team, no matter what. You can be the leader of the Boy Scouts or the Girl Scouts. When you're the leader, Skip, there are certain responsibilities that come along with that. And Kevin Durant wants none of those responsibilities. He wants the adulation why, of him getting the praise for being a great player but none of the responsibility comes along with being a leader of, and a great player when things go bad. Again, he deflected. A uh, Jerome McCoy, I thought I had a, an innocent tweet. Man, I feel bad for my guy at AD Trade 5. They got to get this man some help. He responded, love you, my brother, but please stop. I'm playing ball for a living. You playing ball for a living in OKC before you ran your ass to Golden State. Mm. <laughs> I, I ain't seen none of these tweets. But now he got those titles. But until you get one without Steph, Clay, and Dre, you never going to be viewed on the level as a Steph Curry. Wait a second. It's never going to be. You can, you can view him all you want to, but I tell you what, in the basketball circles, no, they're in never any circle. They're in any ne circle of life. Everybody, every everything that I've seen, every poll from ESPN and everybody that, mm -hmm. they got Steph Curry ranked higher than Kevin Durant. Yeah. All I know is Steph Curry led the delegation that went all the way across country on July the 3rd of 2016 to beg and plead and, and recruit Kevin Durant to please come save us because LeBron bullied us. Kyrie beat us. Do you realize that, Kevin, that LeBron was bullying KD? Mm. Check KD's resume against LeBron when he LeBron was in Cleveland and Miami. Do you remember what he did to Kevin Durant when he was in OKC and LeBron was in Miami? Remember he put foot in him? Do you remember that? Check KD's resume in games three of the 2017 and 2018 finals. Where was he? In LeBron's where, palace Where in was he? I was, I was like, Yo, I think yeah. what you do, do me one favor. They give me failed. something, give me something, Kevin Durant, outside of 2017 and 18 in Golden State. Give me something that he did. Give me oh, something just, outside of 2017. He just won, and the, won the MVP. <laughs> yeah, that's all he did. He won the MVP, and what happened? Who can put butts in him? Who put butts all, in all him? All I know is that Steph crawled for KD because he knew he could not beat LeBron without Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant can't do anything without Steph Curry. Steph Curry got two titles. Who was two the titles. leader of that team as far as playing basketball? No, 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 no. The playing yeah, basketball. Yeah, remember, remember what I said. See, you, you just want to gloss over. Mm, gloss the, over? The, who, who was the MVP? Steph, Steph Clay, and Dre, the culture. Yeah. Now all he can do is just play basketball and escape responsibility. Because guess what? Had they lost... Guess who's going to get the blame? Steph Curry. Who just had like the you weight of the NBA world on his slender shoulders? The man. Kevin Durant, Skip. because he left poor little Russ Skip. high and dry the in Oklahoma City. Skip. The man joined a 73-9 and nine team with a two-time MVP. That the had last time. blown a 3-1 to one lead Skip. to LeBron and Kyrie. I get the skill. I get that. But you make it seem like 
He took a downtrodden team to the finals. You, he you, didn't do that. You were the first to tell me that even Draymond fled into the parking lot and cried tears over, I got to call up my friend KD. He's got to come help Skip. us. Please Skip. come save us. But see, us. what you're trying to do is that you're making it seem like two things can't be true. Mm. Yes, Draymond called uh, 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 KD. Mm. Yes, Steph led the contingent. But don't pretend like Kevin Durant didn't benefit from going to Golden State. Because if he hadn't, why haven't he done anything in Brooklyn? He did had more pressure on him than anybody's ever had going into a finals because the whole world said, okay, you got to be the difference. Yeah. And guess what? He rose and he shone and the he was The pressure is in Brooklyn. And the pressure got so great, the man asked for a trade. Tell me the time Go James asked for a trade. Mm. The pressure got so great, he demanded that the general manager and the head coach be fired. They waited five, two months, three months to fire the head coach. Mm. The pressure is in Brooklyn. No. The problem in Brooklyn is that Kevin ch chose the wrong team wrecker. Kyrie is the Cal ultimate Cal team wrecker. I've never seen a worse team wrecker in all my years of covering the National Basketball Association. Kyrie Irving refused to get vaccinated. It blew that team apart last year. And here we go again. Who it's one it? thing after another. It's this social post and that one. And now it's anti-Semitic. And it's one thing after another. It's hard to play basketball when you're on what, his what, team. What about the leader? Yep. What about the leader pulling the guy aside and saying, Kate, well, Kyrie, come on now. You're supposed to have a coach. No, 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 no. I, I, that, that's why I give Sean Marks 51% of the blame for hiring Steve Nash. No, no, Skip. It doesn't matter who you hire. If you rob him of his ability to discipline, if you rob him of his ability to be an authoritative figure, it's yep. just like kids. If your kids lose respect for their parents, how does the parents teach them? How do the parents discipline if a kid goes to school and the parent does not hold a kid accountable, that kid will never respect said teacher. Mm. That's factual. That's true. Because they had no respect for Steve Nash. And Joe Sy and Sean Mark would not hold them accountable. And That's Steve why Nash did not defend himself when Kyrie said we don't need a coach. He should have stepped up and called a press conference and said, no, I am the coach whether I got, Kyrie likes that, it or let not. Let that I just get a job, and I've got to call a press conference yep. because a player that is, is blatantly and openly disrespectful. Yep. But if you got a leader of the team, like I said, having been leaders on team, a lot of things you handle before it even makes its way to yep. the media, before it makes its Steve way to the Nash head coach. allowed there. Kyrie to emasculate him it. publicly. No, he did, allowed no, it. no, Skip, stop that. Stop that. Yep. So let me guess. The players, so, hmm. In the Dallas situation, who emasculates the coach? The players or the owner? That's a whole nother world. Joe Sy and Sean Marks allowed this to happen. Kevin Durant allows this to happen as a leader. Mm -hmm. So what is the responsibility of a leader? Kevin Durant doesn't want that responsibility. Kevin Durant wants all the adulation that comes along with being a great player and when you win. But none of the blame for when you lose because when you're a leader, you get said blame. Okay, all I know is that Kevin Durant got so sick of Kyrie's act last year that he said, I can't take it anymore. And what did you tell me repeatedly through the offseason? They are tired of his whatever you Bull call it. Bull jive, yeah. yes. right? They're yeah. just tired. Kevin was the sickest and tired of yeah. the bull jive, and he just said, let me out. And when Josiah said no, he said, okay, I demand that you fire him and the GM before I come back. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. And that did not happen, yeah. and his feet got held to the fire, and he was not a happy camper coming back. But he had signed a four-year contract, and I was the first to say, Kevin, you're stuck. Yeah, there are a lot of kids that run away from home, but when they realize they ain't got no place to stand and no food to eat, yep. they come right on back. And that's what Kevin Durant realized. All them teams wasn't lining up to get a guy because here well, you are. Well, you don't know that. Well, just stop it. Stop it. You don't know that. Hold on. All I know is they gave up four first-round picks and picks to get Rudy Gobert. Okay. I know when they gave up to get Rudy Gobert. Mm -hmm. That's what we do know. And now you uh, is Rudy Gobert better or worse player than Kevin Durant? Mm -hmm. So you mean to tell okay. me Kevin Durant is all this and they wouldn't give so up? So now I'm going to be objective about my guy, Kevin Durant. I was ashamed for him the way he handled his press conference last night when he said, I'm shocked that he got fired. I was, I was out of the loop. He did everything in his power to, to get distance the man fired. himself. No, he, he did try to distance himself from the dumpster fire that he started underneath that guy. He did it. Yeah. He was the last straw, right? Yeah. He was the final nail. How are you shocked when you demanded the man get traded that, just 65 okay. days okay. ago? That, How the hell are you okay. shocked? Okay. So he goes off about, I liked working with Steve. I, I like working with this coaching staff. 
okay, you originally did, and then it all went to hell, and you wanted out from under it, and you tried to get him fired, and you failed. And yet, I think they had sort of a secret agreement, he and Joe side, that yeah. early in the year, yeah. let, let the smoke clear, I'll get rid of him. Man, I've, I've seen real of $3 bills. Than okay. that fake press conference that Kevin Durant gave last night. I in sincerity. totally agree. I totally agree. And then you mentioned the one Gerald McCoy tweet, but there were a couple of more tweets from Kevin. And I'm ashamed for him that he would stoop. This is Kevin Bleep and Durant. Why would you stoop to respond to to nobodies on your social media? Page? I, I don't. I don't have a problem with the yeah. Kevin Durant responding. I have a problem with with you because you have shielded Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant talks about right. the media shielding right, LeBron. Well, I, I think you, I was starting on these tweets. I was trying to, to criticize Kevin Durant. You won't even let me criticize because him. Because guess what? Okay. You're you criticizing him. You're turning around and shielding him. Go ahead. He went and laid it right on LeBron in his house see, twice. See? Well, he did that, it. That's why he I don't did let you that. Do. It's a see, fact. That's, that's and you won't you. accept that, it. That, he get, shamed your man in his house. And you won't even let me finish on these tweets. Why would he shame Brooklyn? Shame Brooklyn in his house. Brooklyn. Shame Brooklyn. Shame Brooklyn. He did it. He did what? Got Steve Nash fired? Why can't he shame Brooklyn? He, Why he, can't he do in Brooklyn what he did in Golden State? He embarrassed okay. LeBron James in his house twice. Who was the MVP of back-to-back -back finals? Kevin Durant in was. In 2017, Kevin Durant was the back-to-back yep. MVP for the yep. Golden State Warriors. Yep. Why can't he do in Brooklyn what he did in Golden State? Because he chose to follow <laughs> the wrong guy, that's Kyrie why, Irving. That's and why. they chose the wrong coach in Steve Nash. And Kevin, who has high basketball IQ, said, I got to get out of here. I got to go somewhere else. And Joe Sy said, well, you just well, agreed to a so four-year deal. How IQ, how, how IQ is this basketball IQ mm. if he told Kevin, uh, Kevin Kyrie Irving as a sidekick? Mm. How, how, how IQ? How, how is it? Well, is, is Kyrie, does he not have the greatest <laughs> yeah. handle you've ever seen? So that's all you yeah. got? Is well, that be, all you got? He should be That's on the air. He should be on the air. Uh, is Kyrie as clutch as anybody you've ever seen? Way more clutch than LeBron choking James. Think, think Am I right? Who think made the it. shot of shots in think Game Seven? Just it was think, Kyrie. You Kyrie can, won LeBron a ring that he did not deserve. I'm going to make sure I hear you correctly. Mm -hmm. So we got the guy that won back-to-back -back MVPs in 2017-18. Mm. We got the guy that made the shot of shots in 2016. Mm -hmm. They link up mm -hmm. and can't get to the NBA Finals. Yep. <laughs> okay. Well, and they were the favorite to get there. And what by the way, it, it, just on pure MVP-ness, they're still the sixth best team. They're, they're the sixth favorite to get to Somebody the finals got right off. now. But I'm just saying, I just try to figure out, the guy made the shot of shots, the back-to-back -back in finals yeah. MVP, and they can't get to the Eastern Conference Finals together. Okay, watch what happens when they get a real coach named Emei. Watch what happens. You're going to be in trouble. Hold on. So in other words, you say they're going to win the finals? No, I just said okay, they're going to so be real good. What does that matter? They're Hold on. Real good. Oh, wait a minute. Yep. This guy, you talking about he did a shot of shots at LeBron House. Why can't he win the finals without Steph, Clay, and Drake? Mm. If he's what you said he is, why can't he do that? Well, you'll have a shot. I want a shot. Real coach, yeah. They, they, they still giving out COVID mm -hmm. shots. They got the second booster mm -hmm. available now. So yeah. that's the only shot Kevin uh, Durant's going to get. I've had five, so. That's the only shot yeah. Kevin Durant's going to get. See, that's huh. why I wouldn't let you read those tweets, because yeah. all you do is turn around. I was going to criticize him, and then you turn around and okay, shoot Okay, I won't criticize him anymore because you don't. he is way more clutch than LeBron ever dreamed of being because LeBron is that's a choking, quote-unquote, go. That's not you what, know it, and I know it. That's not what the numbers say. Yeah, that's, that's what, what the what numbers the, scream. Pull, I tell you what, pull the numbers mm -hmm. that say Kevin Durant is more clutch. I want you to pull the numbers. Mm -hmm. I defy anybody to go pull the numbers that says I, Kevin Durant I, I is more clutch. I defy anybody to go pull the tape of what happened in 2017, game three down the stretch. Tell me who came up clutch. Yeah. Tell me who dribbled the ball up on a semi-break and pulled up right in LeBron's grill and drained the three that put Golden State ahead. It's like, Kevin, can yeah. you do this? Yeah. Yes. 27 skip mm. again golden state i need something outside of golden state mm. i can give you cleveland i can give you miami i can give you back to cleveland they, they i can give you la no no they were lost now they were lost well, they know, were, know, they so were what lost. happened last year where they lost without him yeah. last year where they lost without him last year okay he saved LeBron, I mean, he saved Steph's legacy and he wrecked LeBron's Steph, legacy. Two Steph, rings. I, hope, I hate Kevin. to break it to you. Yep. Steph Curry saved his legacy. Because oh, if Steph Curry would have told Kevin Durant, hell no, he would have no titles. Yeah. Kevin Durant would really be on Twitter. Because yeah. they would really be messing with him. Now he gets to say, I'm a two-time finals MVP. Yeah, he, Steph he, Curry saved his legacy. He beat Jason Turnover last year. He it, did that. Hey. <laughs> way to go. Hold on. Congratulations. Jason Turnover that put puss in mm. Kevin Durant. Swept mm. Kevin. Mm. He swept him. Thanks to the coach see, who see, teaches see, defense, see, see, right? Not, it's always now again, that coach is about yeah, to be his coach. You 